so good morning. Today is the 29th of May and uh, here we are at the Goodwood Motor Circuit and Aerodrome in West Sussex for the Retro Rides Weekender. I've just seen a beautiful 1930s Riley come through. Uh, Mr Bill from the, the Wells Wheels YouTube channel is uh, also here um, and uh, we're going to be doing some slightly shambolic shuffling today. Uh, Mr Bill Mike Peel, I'm heading off in a second to uh, retrieve his camera and things but um, we've got lots of interesting things to see and I apologize in advance for all the incorrect information you might be hearing if I get interrupted by announcements and um, I you know uh, fall over or there's wind noise that's just the way that it goes on this channel. So the first thing I've noticed straight away uh, over here is this 19... 87 or 88 Toyota Mark II Grande. Never officially imported over here, of course. This would have uh, come in as a personal import at some point. Uh, roughly sort of equivalent, I suppose, to something like a Toyota a Camry or something like that um, in, in the UK market. But you know, we see all sorts of things. For over here, we have uh, MG Midget, uh, 7374 plate on that. Very interesting period colour, round arch model. A couple of Mercedes Benz W123s. Very clean um, 200 here. I don't know what year this is because that's got a personal plate on it. Got the uh, vinyl interior. Uh, this one's got <coughs> a uh, forbidden fuel engine, um, which we can't talk about on this channel. Um, we can sort of talk about it though 81, 82. Uh, manual as well, this one. And now something very special. This is a 1988 or 81 Volkswagen Jetta Mark I. Now the engine in this has definitely been replaced. That's a much, much newer engine. Again, from the Volkswagen stable. And of course, we, we know it's a new engine because it's got the famous cool, uh, coolant reservoir that all Volkswagen cars have had for the last 25 years or something. But these Mark I Jettas are very, very rare. Classic place for them to rot us around the aerial at the front. But this is very similar to the car that my parents had when I was growing up. Um, they had an 83 Jetta Mark 1 1.5 CL. This is a GL, the interior is a bit nicer. Um, would have originally had a forbidden fuel engine in it, as you can see. Uh, but this one's been removed. Again, a very period colour. I think those are the original dealer plates on it. And they're so rare now, Jetta Mark 1s in this country. So, so, so rare. The last one of these I saw was actually uh, at the Retro Rides Weekender two years ago. And uh, many here as well, being 95, um, 96 model, heavily modified, of course, like many minis are. Uh, E39 BMW M5, uh, Angel Eyes facelift, so it'd be after the year 2000, not a personal plate. Uh, Unos Roadster, 94, 95 plate on that. I've got a review of those, one of these coming up actually quite soon. Is this an automatic or a manual one? It's a manual. The one I've got coming up on the channel, that's been offered by a viewer, is an automatic, which is very rare. You can see people do like to uh, modify their uh, MX-5s or Unos Roadsters. The NA models, this looks a bit like a City Zalan, but isn't of course. I think this is an original Mark 1 Mini. I don't know if that's a Cooper or something. That engine's been breathed on a little bit. That's not the standard A series I should have thought it would come with. Now, I always get the models of these confused, but I think this is called a, a uh, Volkswagen 411, I think they're called these. Again, they've got some funny wheels going on here. Really strange wheels going on. 72, 73 plate. And the Polo G40, of course. Polo G40, this is a car that I actually had on the channel myself. I drove one of these in December 2019 uh, for the Tweed Jacket Reviews Christmas Special. It'll be lightly briefed on. And they are very fast. We also have a very, very, very hard ride. So it'd be 1991, big bumper, Mark II Golf G60. Another G60 here, I think, um, with these wheels on it. 
lot of the cars here have actually been modified. This is, of course, a retro ride weekend, as it would have been. And both these G60s are left-hand drive. <laughs> this Mini is interesting. It's a Mini City, a 7980 plate. But really, really, really lovely spec. Look at, look at all these period accessories in here as well. This sort of picnic box and the little friends on the uh, front seat. Look at that poverty spec steering wheel as well. Proper poverty spec. But immaculate, absolutely immaculate. It's probably an 850 as well, I don't, I don't know. Great cars and a great deal more from Leyland, Leyland cars. A song which haunts my dreams. Um, 73, 74 Mini 1000. Not quite the original spec um, with wheels on this. This is more of a sort of Mr. Bean style car. Um, a little bit earlier than that one, but nevertheless, the same kind of colour. BMW E30 Touring, uh, 8990. Mercedes-Benz W124. It says AMG on it. I don't know exactly what's it could have, could have been modified or something, but it's got these uh, AMG wheels on it. And uh, quite an interesting selection of things, like a, like a uh, period mobile phone and a funny steering wheel and things like that. Interesting. Ah, Volvo 940. I drove one of these um, on the channel actually back in, I think it was been back in March actually I drove one of these. And I did enjoy it. This is a very, very early one. Um, it's 1991 plate. And look at all that wood and this blue interior with the velour seat, GLE. Mm -mm -mm. Very nice. Yeah. Red block engine in there, um, even though it's got a blue, blue valve cover on it, that's a red block engine, I don't know if that's been modified or not. The wheels look very standard actually, they look like GLE wheels, and of course some headlamp wiper action and a catalytic converter. Toyota Starla, I remember these from, from my youth, I think this is a very standard one, it's a Southampton plate on this actually. Uh, B9192, the wheels I think have been painted, or the hubcaps are probably the same but yeah there's been some uh, interesting stuff going on there that's not an original not an original um, gear stick for example Ooh, a Metro HLE so this will be uh, an 85 I think the five door Metros came in an 85 not sponsored by I've not of course never never is the HLE with the uh, interesting gearing on it Interior looks um, remarkably original in this car. Actually, it looks very original. You can just about sort of see that the uh, the top of the gear lever. It's very difficult to get an angle from the side, but the top of the gear lever is E and not four on it. Uh, so the later dashboard in it, with some nice period ex extra things in the grill. Uh, K10 Micra with um, brown interior. Another K10 micro, this one's a little bit later, GSX. I think it's a top of the range one that you could get. If you just poke it through the sunroof, we can see that someone's got a very interesting gear shift in there. Oh, Metro 1.1C, absolute bottom of the bottom of the range when Rover Metros came out in 1990. Um, yeah, so the rear wiper switch is actually separate from the stalks. Yes, it is, it's on the, it's on the dash. Um, wheels and the Soon will have been changed. Those seats, I don't think, are original either. But then again, you know, you, <laughs> you really didn't get much of a, a 1.1C. If you've seen the twin cam channel, then you know what I mean. I think this is a Lex Lexus. No, it's not a Lexus. It's the uh, Toyota version. It's the Aristo. All sorts of interesting bits and pieces to play with in there as well. Lots of screens and things. No idea what uh, what year that is. It'd be mid nineties, I think. Ooh, <laughs> Datsun Laurel, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. Ooh, very nice. Two point four liter. Those look like they are the original dealer plates as well. well. That is tasty. What is it with all these people and the funny gear levers? Though this has got a funny gear lever too. It's got a funny gear lever. It looks like a very very big sunny, to be honest. And um, you know that's. Kind of what it is in a way, I suppose. 
don't remember if these ones were front or rear wheel drive. Austin A30, I think this is, because it's got the smaller rear window with John Player special livery on it. Interesting. Uh, 1963 Austin Healy Sprite, which is oh, the lovely thing on the top folded in. Very similar to an um, MG Midget, right the way through to, I think, 1970 they made them until. That exhaust looks um, a tiny bit dangerous. Now, this is a 2000 Subaru Impreza Turbo 2000. They weren't called the WRX, this, this type in the first... Um, in the first generation of them in this country, they were called the Turbo 2000. Although uh, WRX and STI and things obviously elsewhere. Quite like it, you know, I, I, I think someone's offered me an Impreza to drive, not this type, a later type, but as you can see, yeah, it's a Turbo 2000, not, not for WRX or STI or anything. And then again, uh, this K11 Micro is Looking like there's been something done with the wheels. I wouldn't, wouldn't be so sure as to really know what words to use. Hmm. Mr. Mr. Bell has just pointed out, and he's absolutely right, we have a Honda Civic shuttle here. Um, 88, 89 plate. I haven't seen one of these for absolutely ages. I don't think they came originally with VTEC, I could be wrong. Someone's put a VTEC in this one. I do like the uh, the interior. I'm just to get rid of this reflection. There we go. And just a very sort of typical design of the era, really. I'm sure these are worth a lot of money now. Um, 72, 73 Mazda Pro Seed or B Series. I think this is uh, Fiesta RS 1800. I could be wrong. It could be a different one. It's got the later mirrors on it. No, I don't know what, what that is. Ninety, it's got a 90, um, 91 plate on it, 1991. Maybe it's an RS Turbo. And we have, um, past this interesting transit, a very, very, very clean looking Peugeot 205 1.9 GTI. I think those are the correct wheels for it as well. Um, 8990 plate. I love this colour, that's lovely. I don't know if they all have the uh, leather interior, but this one certainly does. Peugeot 205 Special Editions. Well, there we go. Excellent. So, XJ40 here with some absolutely enormous wheels on it. It's got a cloth interior, that's, that's unusual for one of these. Um, it's like a 2.9 or something. It just says Jaguar XJ6. So this is um, 88, 89 plate. I do like the uh, briefcase in the back. That's good. It's, uh, sort of late 80 Supra. I forget whether this is like a Mark 4 or Mark 5. I'm not even going to try to explain that. But this, now this is very nice. 1978 to 79 Ford Escort RS 2000. It is a later one because it's got uh, just the Ford badge in the front rather than the lettering. Ford press plates, I believe, if it's an SS registration. Very similar to the one used in the professionals. That was white, of course, with the sunroof of 76 car. It's very, very nice. Lovely, lovely condition. The, the lighting makes it look a lot sort of more blue than it actually does in real life. Don't know what's happened to that um, Mercedes SLK. Something's happened to that at some stage. Oh, very nice. Big Mercedes. I think this is a W108. I could be wrong. 280 SEL, 4.5. Uh, 71, 72 plate. Left hand drive for some reason. Maybe it's come from California or somewhere like that. Maybe it has air conditioning. It'd be nice on day like this to have air conditioning. Celica GT4. Oh, yes. Uh, 95, 96 plate on that. 
next to it. An earlier um, Impreza from the one we saw just now, um, 1993 Impreza, one of the first. I thought this originally was a, a, a kind of like a turbo Punto, but no, it's not. It's a, a very rare these Mark One Punto, particularly in in this kind of spec. It's a Punto 85. Yeah, really, really original. So the spec this is. I think we used to skip the specs on the back of these older Puntos. Yeah, it's an 85 ELX. I think that means they've got the uh, 1.4 engine. I could be wrong. Not very good on um, sort of 90s Fiat. 91, 92 Mini Cooper. 85, 86 Mini City. Very basic. That's got a 71, 72 plate, this Mini, but it looks a lot later. I don't know, you can chop and change bits of that. One thing I do know is that this um, Mini pickup as 80, 81 plates, for some reason they made these until 82 and they kept the external door hinges on them and the sliding windows, so that's not actually a mistake, that's just what they were like. This one, yeah, definitely a Mark 7 Mini, I think they call them Mark 7s, post-95 ones. Is that an original colour, Mr. Don? Yeah, okay. 90 Surf Blue. That's always handy to have an expert on hand. Uh, Honda Logo. Now, these were very, very rare um, in this country. They only imported them for, I think, 11 months. So this is a 2000. Um, I don't know if, if that Mugen sticker is original or not. I think they only came in one spec, actually, over here. So, um, probably not. Oh, Mr. Bill's <laughs> Renault Megan Classic is here. <laughs> yes, they're not not common these, they didn't make many and of course we've had, it's appeared on his channel many times and also mine. Yes, but we will do something about that, those rear arches, don't worry. Um, so we got into the sort of um, imps, stilettos, that kind of thing. 72, 73, Hillman Imp. Secret Dutch the Imp Club on tour 2011. Interesting. I think this, this is either a, Hem, a Hillman Imp Californian. It, it, it's really Imp Californian if it's got a Hillman badge. Uh, yes, I was right. Cal Californian. Later one, Lipson H. Uh, 6970. A singer, I think it's called a singer Shamwa. 66 singer Shamwa. Proudly say it's a Mark II. I think they had a revised cylinder head in them. More basic uh, type of imp here, one of the later ones. 73, 74 plate. And a very old tax disc on it. I think I think just, yes, there we go. We can see in there. Another one of these Roots cars. Standard Hillman Imp, I think, called Cyril. Uh, 67, 68 plate on that. Just finish off, I'll, I'll look at these uh, these Hillmans and Singers and things with uh, this one, 67 plate, copper bronze, Hillman, Hillman Super Imp. Interesting. Also interesting is this, um, Fiesta, sorry, not a Fiesta, it's not a Fiesta, it's a, it's a Sierra XR8 V8 engine, um, South African import, Isle of Wight plate for some reason, so 86, 87 plate on this, uh, quite fast, I think it's a 5 litre V8 in these, never of course sold over here, and look at that spoiler arrangement, all very fascinating. It's remarkably kind of plain inside really for a car like this, a diff very different gearbox as well. Interesting. So we'll uh, have a look at this 83-84. Um, Vauxhall Carlton, it's the A2 shape. This is the time when Vauxhall and Opel were basically making the same car but differentiating them a little bit. I think this is a more sort of basic model. We haven't got to the leather interior or anything. Also, the, the Carlton at this point was uh, supplemented by things like the, the Royale and the Senator. 
A86 Corolla. I think that's a Nissan Silvia. S14, I, I think. I'm not very good on that sort of thing. TVR Griffith. Mm, mm, mm. Very nice. Is that a beige leather interior? I do like a nice beige leather interior. So next we'll go on to this MG Magnet. I think this is the uh, earlier type of this shape. I, I forget the, the, the actual model code for these. Absolutely, yes, they were, you know, the uh, car we used to race and bagger racing in the 1960s and 70s. This one is a survivor, though. Like this um, lovely Yamex 5. Was it a Unos? It's a Unos, I do apologise. I keep getting confused between them, it's pretty easy to do that. It's a 94.95 plate. Just spotted um, past this Mark III Golf GTI, a 1965 Chrysler Newport. Look at the size of this. Next to this uh, B11 Sunny. Look at the size of it. Huge. Huge thing. I'm surprised I got through um, through the entrance today. It's a very late B11. Uh, be uh, probably an 80, 85, 86 on a C. Again, quite a typical interior of the time. What we like. I think someone's put a, a Japanese style square plate on it for effect. Mark III Escort Estate. I don't think they made an RS1600 Mark III Escort Estate, so this will be a little bit. Um, Ooh, electric windows in there as well, and Recaro seats. So that's been, it's been modified a little bit. Ah, oh. a special edition Rover Metro. This is a Metro Rio. I don't know if it's a Rio or a Rio Grande. Uh, B9495 on that plate. Of course, we are Metroing today. Like, you'd like a bit of Metro action. It's just a rear rather than a Rio Grande. I don't know if that's the original dealer supplying sticker. It could well be, actually. E28 BMW 5 Series. Don't know if that's a genuine um, M car or not. I'm not Mr. Coleman. He would be able to tell you. I am. I am not the sort of person who'd be able to tell you things like that. But certainly, there's lots of period modifications to that, and a bit more have that wine for action. Part one. Golf GTI uh, facelift by Turbo Technics, 8182 plate. Replica uh, Ford Monday touring car. Ah. Mark II uh, facelift Brad Van Polo, 9192. 71, 72 Beetle. Very, very late um, pre facelift Mark III Polo. The one I had uh, was my first car. I had a Mark III Polo as my first car. It was this colour. It's called bright green. But this is a um, this is a three door. The one we had was a five door. Ooh, Golf 20 VT. I presume this is a Mark II, a uh, big bumper, um, 8990. And someone's put the 1.8 um, 25 engine it from like a TT or something like that into there. It's a very common engine to swap for these. Very, very late Mark I Golf, um, 83, 84 plate. Quite a shiny colour. And someone's left the window open for me to film the beige leather interior. I do like a nice beige leather interior. It's pr probably only the, only the second time I've said that today. Right, we'll move on now to a different area. So next this uh, E30 BMW 325i, it's a facelift one. Mazda Demio. I haven't seen one of these in a while. This is a, a later one. Um, I don't think they came as standard looking like this. Um, standard imports. It's 2003 this car. 
called something else, I think, over over in Japan. I can't remember the name of them. We work up a Demio there. Fix some some place called one two one. Mark two. Preface lift, um, Volkswagen Polo Red Fan. Well, yeah. Quite a late one. It's got a GT badge on it, but it did sell. It did sell the GTs in the with Red Fan shape. So, uh, I've got one of these as well coming up for review on the channel. I don't think it's a GT necessarily, but it's, um, it's definitely a Mark II preface with Red Fan. Another Mark II preface with Red Fan. Another GT. Peugeot 106. Now this looks a bit like a rally, but I think this is a Salon special edition. But it's been made to look look a bit like a rally. Um, it's been really stripped out. There's no, not much in the back at all. Um, not the most comfortable ride down here. I shouldn't have thought today. So uh, W124 Mercedes Benz. It's a late pre facelift one. Uh, 91, 92 plate. It looks like a six cylinder, but I could be wrong. It's bigger than the four cylinder ones. Oh, another beige leather interior. I am having fun today. I do like a nice beige leather interior. So I'm not, there was no badge on the back of this one. Oh, and a Mark 1 Golf Cabriolet. Uh, again, 91, 92 plates. That old Mark 1 Dash, just like in a Mark 1 Jetta as well. I've actually got electric windows in this late one. Obviously, well, it wasn't provisioned for electric windows generally in a Mark 1 Golf, so they've had to put them down there. Interesting. I don't know if those are original wheels. They could be. Now this Nova, um, 92, 93 plate, uh, but an Amsterdam body kit. So that is an older body kit retrofitted onto an, a newer car. Uh, by this stage, the Nova would have come with clear front indicator lenses. So um, it's definitely been modified, but as they all were back in the day, there's so few Novas left now because so many of them are modified. And you know, not like this, where they've got a um, an Amsterdam body kit on it. They um, were a lot, definitely a lot worse than that, most of them. And then um, we can go and have a look at this lovely Peugeot 205 1.9 GTI. Earlier one than the last one, uh, 87, 88 plates. I think it's time to just start to nip in through the tunnel and take a look at what's on the other side. You know, viewers, I love it when a plan comes together. The plan for me to see this absolutely beautiful Rover 3500 um, 84 85 plate. Look at that Rover logo. I do like these very much, viewers. I do like them. Oh, and it's a, a manual. I don't know if I can look to you from the sunroof particularly, but it's a manual. It's not just a road free as it's a Vitesse. I feel like Alan Partridge sometimes going around these shows. E30 BMW 3 Series. Very clean engine. Special treat from the continental European market. A Gulf Country. 1990-91 plate, never sold officially over here. It looked very weird on this kind of massively raised ride head, although, you know, these days this would just be a Volkswagen T-Cross or something like that. Interesting, um, so sorry. Interesting colour of rear lights. Very, very rare. See imported at some point over here. And next to this Beautiful 1995 to 85-86 Audi 200 Quattro. If these aren't the original dealer plates, then they're a very nice replica. Um, I heard earlier on uh, uh, that these rear lights have been changed. There are only two of this spec left in the country. This was owned by the uh, Haynes family of the Haynes Motor Museum and publishing fame. Um, and, and it was um, actually ordered by a local dealer in Somerset. Uh, the, the, the museum's in place of Sparkford. And, the, uh, the place where it was ordered from isn't too far from there. <laughs> the last time I saw one of these was watching the Living Daylights, because there are two Audi 200s in Living Daylights, and they're just, just not around anymore. Quite complex to look after, it's probably one of the reasons why they are, but this is in absolutely beautiful condition. Rather like this Lotus, I think this is an Excel. Um, 87, 88 plate on this. Oh, 
Although we, the pit would be believe it's in the land. Oh, <laughs> Mazda RX-7. I think this is the FB variety. Look at that rear wiper. Might be able to film a little bit of interior through the sunroof. Yes, we can. Turbo boost gauge. Crazy revving on one of these. Very late at the FB. I, th I think the uh, FC came in quite soon after that. Bournemouth plate for some reason on this. Lancia Delta HF Integrale. Right hand drive one as well. Uh, 88 89 plate on this. The smallest mirrors I've ever seen in my life. Probably a replica if it is, uh, it's right hand drive. I don't, um, it's an HF Turbo, so different. Another Data Mars, so Pantera GTS. There are actually a, a few of these around here today. We'll see a bit more in the second part of the video. Amazing to think it's just a Ford V8 engine in the back of there. Right, I think, viewers, um, looking at the clock on my video, I'm going to have to stop now and we'll have to go to the second part because there's just too much to, uh, to take in in one video. But uh, thank you very much indeed for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before, before we go. Oh, and of course, to subscribe to the Walls Wheels channel um, because there'll be more videos from him too. It might actually be properly edited and not sort of rub rubbish and shambolic like, all, like, like the sort of things are. Um, so social media links are, are, are down below. And um, thank you ever so much indeed once again for watching. Don't, don't forget to turn on notifications for your phone when the next part goes live.